Hey, what's going on, folks? So today I'm going to show you how Ian Stanley uses, uh, or how Ian Stanley's business uses um, engagement tagging inside of Active Campaign in order to make sure that we're segmenting by people who are really engaged, kind of engaged, and not really engaged, and then unengaged. Um, sort of, I want to show you how Active Campaign does this. In other words, how we set up sort of you know, your typical seven day openers, 30 day openers, 90 day openers, 180 day openers, um, how we do it inside of the business, as well as how Active Campaign uh, kind of gives it to you to start. So, with this video, I'm going to show you kind of how we do it and show a little bit of our secret sauce. Um, got a couple other videos that I have in mind for you guys, but this is the first one to just show you how to set up your engagement tagging uh, to start so that you're talking to the most. Um, most engaged people on your list, and that way you aren't affecting your deliverability. So um, let's go ahead and dive into it. First and foremost, um, Active Campaign has sort of these out of the box um, engagement tagging automations that are really easy. And I've already, so basically the two that you just saw, I've already created, but you know, if you click on any one of these, um, that's basically what we're going to create. And actually, hold on one sec, let me refresh this. Basically, I created uh, sort of these def these are the defaults that come from Active Campaign, and I'm going to show you those first, and then I'm going to show you um, kind of how we customize them and how we use it in order to make sure that we're only talking to people who are the most engaged. You know, again, our seven day openers, uh, thirty day openers, so on. Um, so first and foremost, uh, part one of the engagement tagging it's pretty simple. So what it does is it has no start, which again is a little bit it's like, huh, how's this how's this actually work? Um, and what it does is this automation adds a bunch of tags and it removes a bunch of tags. And then you wait for seven days and then it removes the tag, recent activity, wait for 21 days, add a tag, disengage, it removes the tag, engage, and then wait for 30 days, add a tag, inactive, remove tag, disengage, and then it ends the automation. So what it's doing here is it's basically setting up your, your seven day engagers, your 21 day engagers, and your 30 day engagers. Now, the way that sort of active campaign by default sets up engagement and calls engagement is if anybody reads an email, if anybody clicks an email, if anybody visits standupconversions.com. In other words, we have, uh, there's actually a pixel you can place on your website um, that allows you to track this, um, to track this, uh, this action that somebody takes. Now, what's happening here is, okay, so exit the automation, enter the automation. So basically, if we go to the automation, Here's what, this is kind of the, this is the magic step. So in other words, anytime somebody does this, this part two engagement, we want it to exit the automation part one, and we want them to re-enter the automation part one. So in other words, if somebody's like at day 21 and they say, click an email, um, then we want to exit this part one automation because what it's doing is we want it to kick them out of this right here because obviously they're not a 21 day engager anymore. We want them to be a very active engager. So what's happening here is it's restarting them. It's basically dropping them into this top of this engagement and saying, okay, add the tag engage because they're now engaged. They just clicked on your email. Um, add tag recent activity, removes tag disengage, and removes tag inactive. Because so basically at day 21, they were added, they got that, they got that tag disengage added. And so what it's doing when it restarts, it removes all the tags that get added, you know, later in the automation. Um, because in other words, it, it's adding a disengaged tag and it's adding an inactive tag to basically say anybody who hasn't interacted for 21 days is disengaged. Anyone who hasn't interacted for 30 days is inactive. So anytime somebody sort of re-engages with um, your email, you want to remove those tags. And that's what it's doing here in the beginning. And then what it's doing is also adding this engage tag and it's adding this recent activity tag as well, which um, again, recent activity gets removed after they've been act inactive for seven days and engage gets removed after they've been inactive for 21 days. So um, that's how that works, at least out of the box. And again, the way you would set this up, I've already set up this, this part here, you'd put in your website here, and then you'd exit automation, and then you know whatever the name of your engagement automation is. In this case, you know, engagement tagging, engage. Oops, sorry. Let me re reload this so it uh, picks up the name of the so it picks up the name of the 
the automation here. So if I go to this, engagement tagging default, there it is. So again, all you're doing here is you're selecting the same automation twice, that automation that's adding and removing those tags. Um, and that's kind of what we're doing here. So go ahead and hit apply there. So engagement tagging default and engagement tagging default. So basically it's exiting it. So again, you know, it's whatever place they are in this automation here, whether they're engaged, inactive, whatever, it exits it. In other words, we kick them out and then it re-adds them. We remove the tags that get added, you know, as they become less engaged and we re-add the tags that say, hey, you're engaged and you have recent activity. So that's kind of how this works out, out of the box with Active Campaign. Now, let me show you how we customize it as Santa Convergence. So first and foremost, we have a couple different things. And again, we try to make this a little bit easier to understand. So we say add tag seven day engagers. And if you want, you can literally borrow this straight from this, you know, basically um, you know, your part one engagement tagging. If you want to set it up exactly like this, just go ahead and, you know, copy this word for word and you'll basically have this all set up just like we do. So um, update, update contact field last engagement date to current time and then add tag seven day engagers. Then add tag, you know, 30 day engagers, add tag 60 day, add tag 90, add tag 180. So in other words, we're adding all of these tags. So in other words, like let's say we want to we want to mail 180 day engagers we are going to get everybody who's 180 days and before we're going to be able to, to um, talk to them. And then we remove tag disengage, remove tag inactive. So first and foremost, what's at, what, what ends up happening here is let's say they wait for seven days. And, and what you're seeing here at these different marks here, so you're probably going to say, okay, why is this 23? Why is this seven? Why is that 30? Why is that nine? Why is that 30? Why is that 90? Um, the reason is, is because seven plus 23 is 30. So in other words, that's going to be our 30 day engager. So anyone, anyone before this is going to be a 30 day engager. Um, but you know, if they've waited more than 30 days, we want to remove that tag 30 day engagers that it just added. And then if they wait another 30 days, then we remove that tag. Cause again, 30 plus 30 is 60. We remove the tag 60 day engagers. And then again, if we, if we wait another night, another 30 days, that's been 90 days since they've engaged with our emails, right? Well, then literally we remove the tag 90 day engagers. Um, so, and so on and so forth until we basically have, um, we've got all the way down to, you know, after, if they, if they, so the 90 day engagers and they wait another 90 days. So basically we've been half a year and they haven't done anything. Then we add the tag disengaged. If we wait another 180 days, in other words, we waited a whole year and they haven't done anything with our emails. Then we add the tag inactive and, you know, at that point they're, um, you know, they get dropped into a different sequence to kind of get reactivated. Um, so what's happening here is, so this is part one. This is kind of the magic part that again, you can just kind of, if you want, you can just copy this. And this is a great way to set up your active campaign so that you're getting your, you know, 30, 60, 90, 180 day engagers. Um, and even, you know, your half year and your, um, your year long, like if you want to have people, if you want to mail people who are getting to that point and say, hey, you know, reactivate them, um, you're going to be able to do that here too. Now, let me show you kind of how we do this. And here's the good news. Part two engagement training is identical. In other words, all we're doing is we're doing this exact same thing. If anybody reads an email, clicks a link or visits, visits our website, they get kicked out of whatever part of this engagement tagging they're in. And they get re-added where they get, again, they get all those tags re-added and they get the disengaged and inactive tags removed if they were, you know, 180 days or older. So that's how we set up engagement tagging inside of um, Ian Stanley's business. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. Um, leave a comment below this video if you found it helpful. And um, thank you very much and look forward to uh, talking to you soon. All right. Take care.